Hello. This time I'm going to felt drowsy from Deltarune. The second chapter has came not long time ago and I've decided to do Fluffy Boy Rousey. He made that one cute pose in chapter 2 and I thought I'd give it a try. As for will colors you need, white, light and dark pink, skin, green, black, and I made flora from grey wool, you can choose any other color. So, first I made a ball of white wool for the head. When it was done I started to add pieces of wool and build the nose a little, I didn't push a lot of wool there yet, I would wait for a decision of putting more after adding eyes. The eyes aren't hard in this case. Just grab a tiny piece of black wool and felt them in the right positions. I have added some wool to the bottom of the cheeks too in order to fix that ball shape which we don't want in Rousey's case. My next step was to build up the nose more and add the mouth. You can add a little more wool above and under the mouth for a more 3D look. Then use a small piece of black wool to finish Rousey's nose. So, it might be not a surprise but I played Undertale first. What I can say. I really liked it. The way Toby Fox handled ending a fight using a game's engine like that, closing, starting your application and all, was such a genius way. I think Undertale, Automata, and Zestiria are the best games for me in terms of great use of ending or credits mechanic that game gives to you. It makes you moved, it makes you emotional or confused. There were parts of the story in Undertale that were very strong and few that could be better. Still, I loved my journey through Undertale World. The humor was great, the characters were great, music was amazing. I have done only the pacifist route and watched rest from other players because I didn't want to ruin the happy ending for those characters. After those parts were done it was a time for hair. I've made three pieces with more or less bent triangle shapes, and then, connected them one after another, starting from the biggest one. You can add more wool at them to make shape more smoosh and look like one piece. Now it's the ears time, I've started by making a flat patch just to get the shape right. If you make it too small then don't worry, you can always add more wool. But if you make it too big then it will be not very good. As I always say, better felt it smaller and add wool than too big and try to push it smaller. So for shape, you need to make it less wide on top, wider on the bottom with some wavy edge. Add layers of wool until it gets stiff and thick. When you manage to do that you can add pink wool on the sides where the inside of the ear will be. Some threads of pink wool may come out on the other side so try to not strike so frontal with your needle but a little more horizontal. You have to do it while watching out to not bend your needle. You can always use a smaller needle, but remember those are more delicate. Just don't hurry up into it calm, if you get pink places on the other side don't worry. You can cover them up with another layer of white wool. Once you made one ear the second one won't be so difficult. You can add those small teeth at this moment. From skin color, I've felt it horns.
well, for horns, as well as for ears, and hence details you can try to find and use more apricot wool color if you have the ability to buy, but I yet see one like that in the shops where I get my wool. For glasses, I felted a tiny strand of wool, as you can see the first piece I took and tried to felt ended a little too wide, so I've tried again with a slimmer strand. Just like you have felted eyes, now felt glasses around them. At the end of work on the head, I've added small pieces of pink wool on the cheeks in order to make Krause blush a little. Now time for the body. Mine was around one and less than half the length of the head. It should be almost as wide as the head at the bottom part. Four legs, first, do a simple piece from white wool then felt a little piece for paw and felt them together. What can I say, just try to shape it as paw looks as possible. Add little pieces of wool where fingers should be and stab with a needle more in the places between. If you decide to make Rousey's figure stand only on one leg like me, then while connecting you need to add this leg, and lean body a little on the left side, not much, but it will give you a nice effect. Connect the second leg more to right and up in the air. When I heard about Deltarune I didn't seek out more information. I saw like one or two screenshots on Tumblr, heard this might be like a continuation of Undertale and I heard it's not finished. I think that the last information of those I mentioned was one that lead me to not play it sooner. I wanted to wait for the full game. But I saw a few weeks ago that the second chapter is coming out. Everyone was excited and I was more in an Undertale mood again. So I told myself why not? The second chapter is where I was charmed fully and love this game. I don't want to overthink it and overhype myself because I know we had to wait maybe like 2 years before we get more chapters, so I trying to enjoy Deltarune, but not to the point where I wanna scream I need next chapters now. The humor of the second chapter was more my thing too. Music is great but I think Undertale might be a little better. The next thing to do is do a long patch for the bottom of the robe. Add a little more wool on the edge that will fall free down, for it to felt nice and stiff. And let it be a little loose around legs. You can make your patch longer anytime so don't worry if it's too short. For arms, I made paws from white wool, with a little piece of the wrist because I was going to make an arm from black wool and cover its end with a black patch for a better look, and making a wrist will help connect all parts easier and better. And of course, I've added a small pink detail on the paw. The first chapter was alright, but it didn't charm me like Undertale. I think Undertale has better start with flowy scene, this killed or be killed matter. Thought Deltarune's character creator at the start had a great mood and I hope it will still pay out later in the game, in future chapters. I liked how more complex fighting has become and the world is more complex. The second chapter is where I was charmed fully and loved this game. I don't want to overthink it and overhype myself because I know we had to wait maybe like 2 years before we get more chapters. So I trying to enjoy Deltarune but not to the point where I wanna scream I need next chapters now. The humor of the second chapter was more my thing too. Music is great but I think Undertale might be a little better. 
but probably only because the orchestra concert of Undertale music is very epic. For now, as I edit this video, I started Deltarune again because I didn't beat Jevil the first time. And this is hell. I was close to beating him like twice, but Rousey was dead and I couldn't pacify him. I will give myself second try in beating him when I will have more time and I will be less tired. I plan to felt no L2, maybe for Christmas. So in her video I will tell you if I beat this dang clown or let it go. When you have both hands and have them connected to the rest of the body, it's time to do a heart emblem on the rope. Just do edges of the heart first and later fill up the gaps. Rousey's figure is very close to being done. Now it's time to do a scarf. Once again do a long patch, this time from dark pink wool. When you make it long enough, wrap it around and connect it. I felt it more on its middle part and a little on the bottom for it to be wavier. When the horizontal part of the scarf is done then just make a smaller patch for the scarf at the front that falls down. Now it's a part I wasn't sure will work out. I wanted to try to make Rousey stand on one of his feet, but I asked myself. If it will hold up? Will 4 manage to hold him up too? As you see I have managed to do it without anything other than wool. So, first I used quite a lot of wool to make a floor. You should do it at least as long as Rousey's arms reach, and at least twice wide as head size. And it should be not flat too much. You need a weight for it to hold the figure's weight. When you make it, then this is where the hard part starts. While holding a figure with one hand you have to connect it with another. Start with striking with needle alone, then, add pieces of white wool around the paw. It will become clearly more wide. But don't worry, focus on making everything stable first. When you are done then use a color you choose for the floor, in my case it was grey and add this color around the leg again. Covering up the white wool you added until you get the optical illusion that the paw is smaller again. That's all, your Rousey figure is done. I hope you liked this video, if you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. I wouldn't say this figure is hard but I have done around 14 figures by now so I know how to handle felting better with each work. I would say the head is the most difficult part, the rest of the body is made from easy to make shapes and patches. Would I recommend this for a first work? No, but as fifth or more, sure, when you know how to handle a needle and wool. Anyway, that's all for this video, see you in the next one.